do it. I have had an idea though of how we can of how we can record right here. We just use the drone. Oh heck! Is <laughs> that the drone up there? Yeah. We drill a hole in the ceiling. Oh. Don't let don't let don't let Zach hear. But yeah. Okay. Hey Zach. <laughs> what? I'm gonna drill a hole in your ceiling. Put a camera there. All right. Be careful. <clears throat> All right. So. <laughs> Alright, so are we ready to begin? Depends how you look at it. Alright, so. Actually, we'll start with this one. So, would someone like to remind me what happened last game? No. Well. It would. F it feels like James should honestly. Yeah. All right. He's done it every time, but. No, no. But especially now. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. So we, after we beat the crack and we start a new session, we got to the like town. And they're like, oh, you're gonna have to go by a small boat to get there. We get there. Some people from the ship are selling to some shady person or something. I got a hat. I didn't ask you. I know you did. Well, I skedaddled off on my own to do important things. They got literally blown away by water from some salesman who was like, Watch this! <laughs> I went to the town square, I saw a person about to get killed. It's like, oh, that doesn't seem good. And then some arrows were shot at the people. I went, oh, I got to go help them. So I went in and helped them. I punched people. They showed up. We all punched people. <laughs> We saved the guy, but it turned out the guy was actually a decoy plant, and he went <laughs> and broke out the window. Then it's like, oh, there. And there are these clouds forming bugs, like, hey, these are where the idiots are. There's a like, oh, that's not good. Let's go to the sewers. That's a good idea. So we go into the sewers, and then like, wow, this is a very conspicuous looking area. I sure hope the doors don't close behind us. The doors closed behind us. Some guy's like, "Ah, you idiots! I got you!" And then, and then my brother's like, "Ha ha, idiot!" <laughs> and then we start beating him up. He's like, "I have the power of the dead!" And he brought my dead mom and dad back. Like, like that's the wrong choice. So we killed him. Like, no, what is it? Two or three turns? Dude, you got like two crits. I didn't even get to use my cannon. Dude. I got Jeremy out. Also, that was really uncalled for, bringing back someone's dead parents. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, anyway. <clears throat> so, uh, the game begins with the party making their way through the sewers of uh, Water's Edge. Uh, you can hear us. From above, you hear a similar screech that gets cut short, followed by cheering and the sounds of fighting. Mm. What the? It's a bit loud. But yeah, so as you make your way through, eventually you see lights from the exits from the outskirts of the town. Mm -hmm. Make your way around the corner and you get a view of the right arm desert. As far as you can see, just sand dunes. Sand? I don't see any snow. Sand be snowy. No, not yet. Not yet. Shut up. You said you could talk in this game of D&D. Talking is not <laughs> I did. Hmm. So, unfortunately, your horses will not be effective as sand. Our horses won't be effective as sand? Because sand exists. And I know that we've been using them so much before. It was implied using them. Yeah. But I did that run one. Yeah, probably. <laughs> At this point. I'll get a camel. <laughs> Where do you plan to get a camel? The uh, town, obviously. <laughs> the town we just desert. left? Yeah, go back. Anyway, so no, no, we gotta go back through. The desert. By the way, despite I believe Lucas does have a decanter of endless water. Mm -hmm. If he wants to check his inventory, take a look at that. Because that is how you got you guys had to stop there to actually get. Do you have the decanter of endless water? Yes. Guys, guys are. <laughs> you you can do that. <laughs> hey guys, do you need some water? Guys are. Uh, <laughs> you're standing at the edge of the dunes. I'll pass it to you guys. I hate sand. Guys! It's irritating and it gets everywhere. 
be that way. Point yeah. in whichever way west is. I seems I failed to find it, and there goes my chance. But uh, I'm actually from the. Uh, let's see. I'm an archaeologist. I'm a professor from King's Watch University. Uh, thank you for helping me. I was. Have you heard the legend of the Sphinx? Right. No. Well, you see. Have I? I don't roll know. Roll right. If you want, actually, you roll with the fancy <laughs> table right next to you. Uh, sure. <laughs> right. Oh, there we go. Seventeen. History. You have. You've heard of it. Oh crap! I have not heard of this. I'm you have not. You live on the other side of the continent. I'll just explain to you out of character. <clears throat> so, there is a legend about the Sphinx of the Right Arm Deserts. Essentially, what it is, it is a space in the bright brown desert. Oh! <laughs> no, okay. Basically, uh, it presents uh, people three challenges. If you are able to pass them, it will answer any question that you have. However, once you become determined to find it, you have until the end of the day. Otherwise, it will never appear to you. Hmm. Does it ever say how you find it, though? It says that uh, first you just have to f you have to look around in the right arm desert. That is the first step. Mm -hmm. You have to explore, try and find you know signs and stuff like saying. <laughs> Boy, I'm good at that. <laughs> oh no, it's all snowy here. We're in the wrong desert. Are you colorblind? <laughs> no, it's high. How are you? So. The archaeologist, but thank you for your help. Uh, you said that Water's Edge was that way? Uh, yeah. Yes, but out of curiosity, um, what do you know, like, any clues about where this Sphinx might be? Any clues? It is said that uh, you need to go to the very center of the desert. That is, once you go there, you should be able to see a temple of sorts. However, the only other records I could find of it, that's where they ended. We don't know what the tests are. But, I suppose I will have to research something else. But thank you. Uh, you're welcome. However, Kirak will speak up and be like, yo, uh, Water's Edge is dangerous. I'm gonna guide him back so I'm conveniently not here for the rest of the game. Okay, cardboard cut out of here. <laughs> Sounds good. Yo! <laughs> Arkeel just picks up the cardboard cut out and starts walking away. And. Yeah, because, uh, didn't actually say that. The guy just stole our cardboard cut out. <laughs> uh, Water's Edge is in a. Uh, is a dangerous position right now, you know, with the uprising. So I figured it would be best if I guide him back. I can also check up, see what happened there. Uh, with my spells, I should be the best equipped to make it across here uh, on my own. So, no, I'll go. He will give you guys a polite <laughs> bow. <laughs> <laughs> he will give you guys a polite bow as him and the archaeologist begin heading back to Water's Edge. As the group is now faced with what to do. Let's keep going. So, do we have any idea where to find the center of the desert? It's the center of the desert. I well, yes, but it's, it's, it's a little hard to see from down here. Nah, yeah, just take a rough guess. <laughs> so, are you going to try and find the area that he spoke of? I mean, even if we did, what question would we ask it? Who am I? <laughs> <laughs> no, he, he does have a point, actually. That's deep. <laughs> Great, yeah. goodbye. Who am I? Drake. <laughs> we could figure out when the next solar eclipse is. 
Oh wait, oh crap, let me switch to desert music. I finally made it to the desert. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think we should probably make we should probably ask what time the solar eclipse is. Because we I don't mean, know when that is and we know that we have to take cover. That's what ask who the heck Drake is, because I none of us know he doesn't even know. Or we can see how much time until the D and D mode is free. Maybe we can combine all the questions together somehow. If we just make it a very long run on sentence, then maybe that would work. <laughs> is is when the solar eclipse happens, is that when the entity was going to be free? I don't know, I didn't pay attention. <laughs> it's been like at least a day. Remember we just slept. <laughs> I think it's been more than a day. Like, At least two. <laughs> I imagine it would be longer than that, but. I don't know, this campaign doesn't take. You could ask how Coldlock Holmes is doing. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Do you, you know no. about Coldlock Holmes? That's, That's right. sad. Oh. Are you bring Larry back to life? <laughs> I mean, no. <laughs> where is where is a wish scroll? Is there a wish scroll? I don't know. If there'd be a wish scroll, it'd most likely be like in the wizard's tower. But that's also unrelated to the more important things happening. <laughs> but then, what's the point of going over there just to ask how long we have left? Do we know where the teleportation portals are? Uh, generally. You know, you know that it is in the town of, of King's Watch. Do we have a map? Okay. King's Watch. You do on the Discord, but you don't have that. So, I don't think we need to ask where the portals are. I think we just needed to, we just needed to activate the portals. It seems to be disabled using some form of anti-magic, because getting rid of it permanent teleportation circle is not that easy. It takes a year to make using the spell every single day. So that's a lot of effort to make. I guess could ask her to reopen them. Yeah. But we, we, really, we really do need to find out when the next solar eclipse is. Whether that's through the question or by asking someone else if they know. Trumbo? <laughs> <laughs> With that guy now? Which, which guy are you pointing at? The guy who was just talking. The archaeologist. He might. Yeah, he probably knows he things. He might. <laughs> Should we go find him? <laughs> I want to see an archaeologist looking for a sphinx, though. Because it's an archaeological exhibit. If he might have you a question. You can't prove he found it, though. He didn't find it. Yeah, but if you do. I want to ask you the question. Like I could research just say, for research. I could just say, oh, I found the Sphinx and just lie. Research for research. We should probably, we could ask him about the solar eclipse if he knows anything about it. Yeah, but then we have to go back because they already have a head start. How far away are they? Five feet. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we can. Yeah. Yeah. We'll never catch up. Need some distance. We've been talking this entire time. Make me an intelligence check. Me? Oh. Yeah, Abby. Okay. Let's see. That's a natural 20. Why the heck would an archaeologist just know when a solar eclipse is going to be? <laughs> I don't know. He might. Do you go to Indiana Jones and be like, yo, what up? <laughs> You don't? <laughs> I mean, but if it's got something to do with an artifact that he might know. 
Is there a temple? If he's got to figure out puzzles for getting into secret temples, he might need to know the phases of the moon and when the solar eclipses happen. Is there a town nearby? Uh, let's see. The nearest town is Water's Edge. And after that is the, the uh, town at the base of the mountain called Tornith. Mm -hmm. Past and Torn. <laughs> yes. No, that's like so, the English of Torn. It is, it is. It's how far away is it? A few days travel. And is that where the desert would end then? And? You so. Let's see. Well, so the it is not the too out of your way because you're traveling through the desert. That map is a little bit outdated, mainly because my mind is. I, I changed my mind. <laughs> uh, but generally, imagine if Tornith was a bit closer to the mountain. That is the gray one on the right. Oh, that is the, uh, that's just the climate. Look for the one with the dots. Nice. So it's, Don't. I mean, basically in the center of the desert, kind of. I switched it up halfway through. It is more closer to the mountain. So you're going to have to traverse the entire desert to get there. It won't be too out of your way to look for it. Did you pen the maps? I don't like them. The maps are, like I said, they're a bit outdated because I made them like a year and a half ago. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And for a penny, you could only have it poorly. So, are you going to look for it? Yeah. If you are, uh, I'm going to need a survival check. Five. One of them. I have a plus five. A oh, plus four. Am I rolling it then? No, I just conveniently didn't do anything. Alright. <laughs> oh, go ahead. And I get a one. Okay, good. You got it. Alright, I got a, I got a 21 total. 21? Okay. Takes you a few hours. Uh, okay. Did you roll an effort? I went like with this, hit it, it rolled from like here to here, went from 20 to 20. It is 12 p.m. Why is there a clip on the ground? I don't know. Lucas. Wow. But, you see in the distance, there seems to be a pyramid of some kind. Oh, that seems to be a, a pyramid. pyramid of some kind. <laughs> uh, I suppose we should go. So, as you approach, you see a giant pyramid. There seems to be a courtyard in front with a door. Uh, on either side, there are a few pillars. On top of them are these metal figures that are rusted and cracked. Can we tell what those figures are? They look to be iron golems, but they are rusted and cracked. Hmm. So, I'm if you get past, as you go closer, you see the door. Uh, the text on it seems to shift to all the languages you guys know. Uh, it says, oh, you have okay. passed the first test of finding this place. Next is a test of ingenuity, wit, or strength. Oh. Is this Your strength? choice. Open the door. It is that simple. Ingenuity, wit, or strength. Dude, I said, wait, you said I said about me having a sword. You have a spear. You said sword. Okay. Wait, I did. You <laughs> said sword. <laughs> wait, I said sword. I don't know. I know. I couldn't make sure it's not equipped. You don't have a sword. Oh, I might be onto something here. What are you on to? Now, Lucas, what are you doing? Let's walk in the door. Lucas, what what did I say? Or he were you too listen. busy looking for a sword? I wasn't too busy. So what are you doing? So wait, so uh, as a it's party. a challenge for three of us individually. The next or like, challenge, or like first challenge, together. was simply finding the pyramid. Yeah. Second, the second one. all 
All you guys have to do is open the door. It said it's either a test of wit, ingenuity, or strength. It's up to you. So it has to be one of those, or? It like, basically is telling you, however you open the door, if you can do that, you just have to open the door. Open the door. Okay. How much damage does my cannon do? <laughs> it deals elemental damage. I'm not doing strength. Can I inspect the door? It seems to be some giant. Yeah, actually. Uh, I'll give you. Yeah, roll a investigation. Can I pull the door to the side? Give it a minute. You can try, but if you do, it'll make some time pass. So you have infinity checks. A seventeen total. Total? Okay. Yep. They seem to be giant stone doors. They seem to be, you know, several feet thick. You see that how they open is you just take them and got to push them to the side. One more thing, you see that there are little grips at the beginning where the doors meet, where you would stick your fingers to try and pull it open. through your spells and stuff. See if you have anything that can help this. Spells, items. I think of a clever idea. This is a puzzle. Kai puzzle. Uh, use Kaiser on it. That far away. Enhance ability. Mm -hmm. What does that do? Normally second level, but I'd probably use it for third. Second level, you touch a creature and bestow upon it magical enhancement. The one they're choosing is bull strength. Advantage on strength checks and his or her carrying capacity doubles. Mm -hmm. Okay. You could use that on me because my strength is a plus four. Good, because mine's a minus one. I mean, you could join in too. <laughs> yeah, you, you could try the double still. It's if you're doing a group strength check, even if you roll a one, that's one additional to yeah, the group. Yeah. So. Yeah. So if we try once to open the door, we still have other chances to, right? <laughs> Just, Just to for it. whatever sake, I will say trying something costs three hours. You have until midnight. It is okay. twelve. Twelve in the afternoon, I assume, and not midnight. So it is not. <laughs> so we have four things to try. <laughs> so to try to pull open the door takes three yeah. hours. We're pushing us three, three hours to four give you four Oh, okay. You know what's good? However, it works for for four tries. I mean that does work. It takes three hours per whatever. You're, you're right. If you're starting right now, first attempt will be at twelve. You're right. You're right. Yeah, I know. That's, that's why I said it. You are right, though. I give you so a validation that you should. Want we, to should we try pushing the door first? I mean, we should you pull it, it, it. It's a sliding door. <laughs> You've seen these before. <laughs> it's there. You no, yeah, open yeah. it from the center and you like pull it. There are like little grips you can grab to pull it yeah. out. Yeah. Oh, the moon! Oh, the moon! Dude, I pissed. Dude, if you could push the door down. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Did I pass? <laughs> anyway. Do we want to just try to brute force it? We can try that first. Okay. We all pull. Enhance ability. You okay. have advantage. I have advantage. So, I have inspiration. So wait, 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 hold up, hold up. Before you do this, mm -hmm. I need you to describe what's happening. How you're thinking back to the go black and white flashback on us. <laughs> Really go back. I'm showing the moment. moment. I yeah, have no. to do this for all my friends. You know, I, I'm saying that if you use inspiration, you gotta, you gotta tell us about how you're thinking track. back. Yes. Hey, I, this is an animation. 
with everything we've done, including punching the Kraken, we really gonna be stopped by some stupid door. Let's go! Woo! <laughs> James is inspired! <laughs> Alright, so, come on, Drake, let's open this all door! All of you, grab I need strength checks from all of you. And I get advantage, right? Yes, you get advantage. That's good. Let's see. I'm done. 21 total. 21? That's, That's 40. 40. That's 22, oh. technically, but it's not 22. 20. 21. 43. 43. 43. What's yours? Four. 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 That is over 45. Let's go! You made the difference. Look at your four. Wait. Yeah, yeah. yeah. your four. So I'm not, I'm not adding both, right? Hmm? Just one die. Just one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Plus my... That's a, plus your strength, yes. Yeah. Yeah. As... As you open, air begins to rush out. As it slowly begins to open, as from the inside you see a dark room. Oh, it's a dark room, I should get on it. That was like a scene, right? As you walk in, you see a figure in the darkness. It's sitting on a giant's red pillow. It seems to be, it looks, has the body of a lion, wings of a bird, and the face of a beautiful woman. Except what? not in D&D for some reason, because D&D just as it looked like this, with the face of a lion, but whatever. I'll send in the Discord. Mm. Its entire body is tan, and it's looking at each of you unblinking. You did well. This has been most entertaining, but I have one last test for you. Fear not, it is easy enough. It is a question. Testing your knowledge of the enemy that you hunt. If answered correctly, I will answer whatever question your heart has. Should you fail, I must ask you to leave. You will have three chances. Quick, call the buddy. <laughs> what are you doing? Rise, me and my house. <laughs> the founder of the Rygram Empire. Above what all? Sorry, I messed this up. Above all else. What does he fear? As he across his little pause. Maybe get a little huddle and start whispering to each other. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, you can huddle up and whisper to each other. I'm getting chocolate milk on you doing this. I don't know, I just got here. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> it could be related to the entity of the landscape.
What is this desert music? It's a bit odd. Um, <laughs> it's weird music to be playing in the Sphinx's temple. I'll tell you what, if you roll intelligence, I will answer a question that you have done. I will not give you a hint. Because I haven't thought of hints that won't just give away the answer. Wait, so. you'll answer... <gasps> uh, I thought there was a singular answer I was looking for. This is a... So, intelligence check, you said? There are a few. There are a few intelligence. Yeah. Or intelligence, I... Yes. All I'll do is, if you ask me to remind you about something, I will. Right. So just, like, remind me if if I've heard of anything that could be... Pine cones. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. Well, I, just, I, don't, I don't have any hints for you. All I'm saying that is, if you ask about something, I will remind you. Actually, you have key mind. If you do that, I will remind you. You know, in that role. Oh, so I don't have to roll? Just... Alright. I don't know, what do you want more info on that you remember? That I remember? You well, remember just... the key mind. What's the name of the... Heads... Thing in the moon? I don't know, I kind of... Just been calling it the entity. I gave it a name, but... I just like calling it the entity. It's the... Uh... <gasps> do I remember if Charm has... Mentioned anything? Charm did not say anything about what he was. Do I remember anything? Only intelligence. Yeah. Nine. <laughs> remember, you have a fear of pine cones. <laughs> Wait, that was me. <laughs> if you see pine cones, you will be afraid. Duly <laughs> <laughs> <Do they> noted. <laughs> I'm a man of war. The power of pine cone uh, oh. tells you? I don't know. Ah, a pine cone. What's up? Oh, you're asking. Oh, I'm going to be sent a message, aren't I? Dang. I'm ready for her. No. Five. <laughs> I rolled. Oh, what, what, what? Like oh. world intelligence, I thought I had to. Wait, for what? To, to remember a question. Come on, just ask me. Uh, uh, Abby is key money. She'll remember everything that's happened in the past. Yeah, Abby. Anyway, here's the church. Here's the gentleman, sir. What exactly <laughs> happened with the conflict between Charm and Ryan? Essentially, I have to say this would be more of a history, but it's been a month, so. Originally, they meant for the uh, to rule as just one continent, but due to differences in basically world views, they decided that they couldn't and made two continents because they knew that if they tried to rule together, it would lead to conflict, and they didn't do that until twenty years ago when our <laughs> everything changed for the Fire Nation. Did. He did get you that five. He did help. Four. It was a four. Well, he rolled a five. Um, but... Maybe it could have something to do with power. Maybe he's afraid of losing power. I feel like that's something that like most evil people would fear. He's not evil. Fair enough.
do voices speak to you often, Lucas? No. Good. <laughs> oh, should we stop talking to him then? No, wait. <laughs> Think about that for another few hours while the camera's off. I don't remember why I wrote this down, but apparently Drake fights like he's from Rijar. If that helps at all. I don't think it does, but... Fights like he's from Rijar? That's what I wrote down. I don't remember... I don't remember at all <coughs> why I wrote yeah, that down. That Should we... we were fighting Worm? Didn't we fight Worm? It was... The, Should we try the, the Kraken? Ant no, it wasn't. Should we try was the Anti on the Moon? No, we did get the Kraken. What? We, we asked three times. Should we at least ask the Anti on the Moon or go to keep thinking? Do you think it's we should? Probably a safe bet. Because what would you fear the Anti on the Moon, the Anti on the Moon escaping? Yeah. Shall we go ahead and ask them? Probably. Okay. Is he scared of the entity that resides in the moon? Is that a question or an answer? <laughs> he is scared of the entity that resides in the moon. Thank you. <laughs> a valiant guess, but if it were even 25 years ago, you would be correct. However, that's changed. Every now and then. Hello, Lord. Wait. That's changed. Does that mean it has to do with its influence, then? Do you think... Do you think the entity can drive people mad? Maybe that's why the brain well, is... Well, I know the entity can control people, don't I? So that maybe that's why he's... I don't remember. <laughs> he's acting out. He's acting. He's having a little temper tantrum. A little war. Classic temper. A 20 years war. 
But the low TV is low. Oh, it's my character. <laughs> That's not an answer! <laughs> I know it's not. <laughs> Can we have the answer to the question first? <laughs> uh, yeah. How was um, Charm and Ryan's relationship? They were like, brother and sister. Like, did they did they care about each other a lot? Yes, they were besties better than the rest of us. Do you think it could maybe he's scared of losing charm? It is possible. It but becomes if, a question of if referring to him or whatever. If it he's actually being controlled or not. If he is of his own mind and just being forced to do these actions. It could be that he's scared of losing Charm. Yeah. Charm was kidnapped, right? Yeah. So then maybe Charm was kidnapped because Ryan wanted to protect her from something. Well, theory Ryan's still being controlled, so it's possible that they're both necessary to free the entity, and so this was... Then either way, it might be losing Sharp. What happened 25 years ago? Do you know something that happened 25 years ago?
Is that too distracting? I'll be fine. Okay. They were basically acting independently of the scales. Wait, which people? The, 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 the yeah. celebs. We were fighting that had scales and they flew off after they died. But the question of if those scales mean that they're actually being controlled in of themselves, which means it's no longer their thoughts. I think it was no longer their thoughts. And the time for time that it's no longer about the line, it would be about the entity, but then that's a what if scenario. Yeah. If it's the entity, could the courageous fear be not finding the objects that are holding him in prison? Because there are objects that are holding him in prison. <laughs> what? No, I just played the clap and Quinn's opening sound. <laughs> What? I thought it was a matter of time before it was released anyways. But there was um, a cult dedicated to opening or opening Cracking prison. open a coal on That too. Case scenario, we don't get a wish. So if you have something you're oh, guessing. A wish? <laughs> Whoa, dude! Worst case scenario, we don't get a wish. Wow, the, the reward just went up. Yeah. Shall we get to the phrase of Lucifer? Yeah. 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 Yeah
There's like a one letter difference between rain and line. Uh, and he does more. Cool, cool, cool. It's R Y N E. Is. Not R. Yeah. I thought I asked you before. And I gave you this answer. Wait, from the critically acclaimed of a more. Yeah. Uh, Ryan is most scared of losing Sean. Brian tries to hide it, but he does care about Charm's well-being. At the time they met, she was the only one who didn't see him as a monster. She pushed him towards his more heroic tendencies, founding a kingdom based on merit. But I suppose he never truly lost his egg, did he? You are correct! Yeah. Now, it was... Watching you all overcome my challenges was quite entertaining. Now, you may ask your question. I will give you a moment to come to a unanimous decision. Time for another three hours. <laughs> I have a simple one to do. Ah. It would have to be a trick. Alright. The question is, what happened to our friend Trey? What's he had? He lost his memory. Very well. He, she will look at Drake. Her eyes will glow blue for a second. <clears throat> Drake's parents are named Draco and Sarah Harpton. You had a privileged upbringing. When you were about 10, your mother ordered experiments done on you to try and prevent Ryan's influence on you. However, a group intent on freeing the entity of the moon discovered this, kidnapping you and killing your mother with poison. After that, you returned to your home, where you were trained in both weaponry and magic. When you were 18, you enrolled in the Riker Army military. In no time, you achieved the rank of general, become the youngest general of the Riker Army Empire. Shortly after that, there is a moment that is blocked from my memory, most likely blocked from any sort of divination music. Music? Divination <laughs> music. Most likely a warding spell that prevents any divination. However, after this, you decided to break away from your squad, and the moon cultists were watching you heading south. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> yeah. You decided to head south. When you believed you were on your own, you drank a concoction that was meant to wipe your memory. I do not know why. I can assume it was to help break Ryan's control over you and your mind. However, expecting your intent to desert, the cultists followed you. After a battle, you were injured, forced off a cliff into a river, where you were then found by the people of Garmsby. I believe this is where your memory picks up, is it not? Yeah. That is a lot taken. This has been most entertaining for me. You surpassed all of my expectations. But I must now ask you to leave, because I do not want to be in this time for what I fear may be coming soon. However, because I'd like you all a warning. The futures that I've seen thus far do not end well for you. I have survived the calamity by going back a few years in time. All four times I have watched you all die in horrific ways, whether it's being torn apart and dragged to the abyss by a kraken, blown up by your own hand in a battle against the sergeant of Rygram's wall, ripped apart and consumed by an undead abomination below Rygram's control, or slain by Ryan himself. Fate is not on your side. Your path will not be an easy one. However, I do wish you all luck. You will need it. Goodbye. As she says this, everything around you begins to shake a little bit as it begins to dissolve into sand and flow away into the wind, leaving no trace of its existence. Well, it's a shame Kira wasn't here for that luck, eh? <laughs> I was wondering that, but it was about you, not your father. You might have got a little tiny. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Went to the store for some milk. I did the store for some milk. <laughs> you milk. took a moment. <laughs> I 
feet. So, anything you'd like to talk about with that or Hmm? Uh, Draco Purple. Harrington, I believe. I actually have it because I sort of expected that question. Yep, Draco Harrington. We'd have to have like a separate page dedicated to what you said. Because <laughs> I can't. I can't type page. Just... So. That's a wild childhood, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess we don't need this memory potion anymore. Oh well. Well, like, I mean, there still is the one fire that Oh, that is a good point. I don't but know it, might, it might still not get it, though. I don't know if that would be considered locked. It's locked. It specifically said that it was a warding spell that most likely blocked divination magic. There are spells that do that. Is potion, are potions considered divination? Okay. So divination is like, well, mostly it's, a lot of times it's divine, but it's more you know, inspiring. <laughs> it sounds smart, so I said it. Okay. <laughs> no, no, it is what it is. I think. So a potion should work. A potion should work. Yeah. Uh, yes, we should get going. Alright, so <clears throat> if you're going to continue forward, uh, I would like you guys to roll me another D20. Just one of us, or? One of you. Alright. Uh, Nat 20. one. Yeah. Oh. So, after a whole other day of travel, nothing happened that day. The ground begins to get a lot more firmer from sand. It seems to be a bit more rocky. You see that there are a few uh, rock pillars in the distance, like freaking straight out Dragon Ball Z, that kind of thing. You know, that you'd like dramatically stand on in the middle of a fight. Oh, okay. And that kind of thing. Right. So, you know, <clears throat> in the distance, probably about 250 feet, you all see a watch tower. A watchtower. A watchtower that seems to be like, you know, on top of the little mountain. Or not a watchtower. A watchtower watch on top of another watchtower. Yes, there's a watchtower on top of another watchtower. To watch the watchtower. Oh. Yeah, that's probably smart. Yeah. You said that there was just like a watch tower, like 250 feet from us? Uh, yeah, it looks like it's about it's probably close to about 300 feet, but no more. About 300 feet away, there's a watch tower at the top of each hill. Can I see that far? Maybe. I don't know. Roll me perception. Perception. Yeah, I did. I could put that 20. Go for it. That's a 14 for me. A 14 minute. Do I recognize the general build of the watchtower? It seems to be very shoddily made. 19. It seems to be good. 19? Well, from a 19, you can see that. In between you and the watchtower, there's a dead body. Oh, look, a dead body. Oh. Like, how far is it? Well, I guess I should be asking that if I'm not the one that saw it. Or you it? should No. How far in front was it? <laughs> one foot. No. Uh oh. Yo! Wait, how many of you guys are on the watchtower? 200 feet close, so like 200 feet away. There's a dead body over there. How are we going to inspect it? I don't know if we should inspect it if there's a dead body there. What types of things are in this desert? Hmm? Unconfirmed creatures? Yeah. Roll me a nature check. Let's see. Okay. 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 Ok
those those words from the fifteen plus. Uh, 16. 16? You know that there are not the worms from Dune. The worms from Lethal Company? <laughs> what? Hang on. They're very rare, but they do show up. Uh, you know, griffins, what else? There are raiders around these here parts. We got wolves, because wolves exist. Uh, what else exists in those places? Giant bugs. Occasionally giants because of its close proximity to the mountain, which you know. You know, giants. <laughs> giants. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I said that. I said that when I told said giants I was looking at the man like that. Anyway. Did I say anything around the ear of the body? What did you want to do? 19. 19? Okay. You see there are a few bushes, you know, a few of those pillars. Using a special granny on that. It's like, a tele it's like a telescope, but with one eye, and he doesn't have to have to use a telescope. <laughs> 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 really <comedic. laughs> and, uh, no, 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 you know how in like those uh, animations that I would like, <laughs> 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 That's what it is. Wow, I know a bad eyesight. And what, what would you like to do? See a dead body, watch tower top of a hill. Is that relevant to the watch though? <laughs> <laughs> the dance eye hurts. Aren't they going to get shot in the eye? Oh! <laughs> why is this? <it> <laughs> <laughs> Alright. How did you do yourself? <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for the eye to get shot. Yeah, so that's your turn. The only thing we probably couldn't see that would come to us is like a sandworm, but... Yeah. Just feels the earth traveling, it'll be fine. I'm gonna start walking towards the watchtower. I will follow. As you take right. a step, I need everyone to make me a deck save. Don't uh, worry, it's not for what you think, but it's uh, sort of for what you think. Hold on. Uh, they're near me. They have plus two. Alright, you have plus two to your deck saves. Eleven. Eleven. Yeah. Eleven. Oh, uh, dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. So we got a lovely lady to ask you. So, as you're walking, you take a step forward and you see right next to you, whizzing right past your head, a rock behind you gets hit by a bolt of pure force. And while these two are looking at that, distracted, you look back and you see several flashes from the watch network. As you have a movement before whatever happens, you have one action. Who was that? These two are like, what was that? <laughs> Whoa! Ah. <laughs> As you have a movement. A movement or an action? You can basically just, what do you do in response to that? Uh, this isn't really an initiative, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, because they're distracted. I will say, there is one of those pillars it's somewhat close to you, you know. Probably just gonna get behind the pillar. They're too distracted. They can save themselves. I have a quick question. What's up? If what for I had the, the spell shield. Mm-hmm. And it's like a reaction against an attack or if I'm targeted by the spell magic missile, mm -hmm. would that potentially work? I would say not right now. Okay. Only because this is basically a surprise round. So it's a cutscene. Uh, it's a surprise round. You know how you guys had all those ambushes against unsuspecting people? I don't feel like that would work. Alright. You don't know what would work? Uh, thinking about what could be coming. Yeah. yeah, I'm just going to do what I said, get behind the pillar. So, as you jump out of the way, you see uh, another blast hits right where you were. These two are too distracted as... Ooh, what's that? Let's see. I was thinking, what's what if it's going to be a ranged spell attack? Yeah, screw those guys, you know? 
<laughs> no, I kind of expected you to, I don't know, pull someone out of the way. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how much time I actually have. Really I, feel like, <laughs> I haven't saved them enough. As a, <laughs> you specifically, get out of the way. Alright, Lucas, uh, first attack, 27, 24. Both hit? Yeah. Alright, and Abby, that is an 18 and a 21. Why can't you give me one of the... Why can't you give me that one? I want the one of her. What? Uh, yeah, but Should've given me hers. You said what I was thinking. Yeah, maybe I could get in front of them and use deflect missiles. Oh, that is sick. <laughs> I yeah. just, like, Safe rock, you I see guess. a flash. You don't know if it's gonna be like a I guess. laser. <laughs> Alright, let's see. At Lucas, that is... 26 damage as you are hit by two different uh, Elder Blasts. Hey, you may want to get behind the here? pillar. And Abby, against you, that is... Is that a basic man? I have to validate OS. It was a weird one. 33. As, as two Eldritch Blasters hit you in the back, sending you flying 10 feet each. Ouch. As, um, why don't we take a second break? I need to write up on the board something. Yeah. Why don't you check the recording, make sure everything's still going. Oh, so take 30 a break. Don't show me drawing all this. Okay. <laughs> that would take like five hours. I was going to say, I wasn't sure if we were going to wait for I mean, that would be 30 minutes. Yeah. I mean, we could. But... So, if you would, place yourselves on the uh I'll say that you guys are able to scamper behind that pillar. Give me a second. Right. What's the key? Right here. Ah! Abby, stop. So I'll describe everything to you in a second. Is that going? Yep. Yeah. Right. So as you can see there is this little watchtower. It's the top of uh, spiraling I don't know mountain or whatever. This right here, you see the ground is actually pushed up from uh, the rest of the ground by something that seems to have moved underneath it. Perhaps something from Lethal Company, I don't know. Uh, uh, you see there's a little puddle of nasty looking water over there, you know, lined with a few bushes, random shrubbery. One of those freaking Dragon Ball Z pillars we were talking about, you know, and another one over there. And then right here, there's a little bit of a crevice that goes down. You see this guy? He has his little laser laser light going like. Yeah. I can't shoot. I didn't blast that far. You can shoot the elders too far. The max you can shoot an elders blast is a thousand two hundred feet. Oh. <laughs> yeah. If you get the other stuff. Okay, yeah, because mine's only one hundred twenty. <laughs> there's a lot. Let's see. I think. That's How it. close are we doing? You are. Oh, uh, very far away. Maybe in our comment chat, you can. 200. 200. Technically 195, but. 200, that works. 13. 13? Uh, the air tastes funny. <laughs> it smells. 22. Uh, 22. You can tell that this uh, taste and smell that you feel is a magic magic spell. Uh, it's called, I believe it's Forbiddance. It prevents any sort of teleportation within like 500 feet of the center. Okay. What? So no. can't, just what? can't teleport. I can taste the magic. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, yeah. People, that, that's in like a lot of media, right? Feeling magic? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about tasting it though. Maybe but you can't. You can. Right. I, I clearly right. can right. taste it. What? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95. I can sprint that. Give me a second. <laughs> you the <laughs> <you're the big. laughs> Whatever. Anyway, so 
we are not going to enter in a uh, real initiative right now since this is going to be like a little different thing. So, what? Stop that. Stop that. Okay. What are you guys going to do? You, just, you guys just both got freaking shot uh, and made your way over there. Does yeah. so anything seem particularly wrong with the uh, like crevice in the center? So you look out to look at it, you see it seems to be like from a what is it, not an earthquake. It doesn't seem to you don't see any issues. As you look out you see a flash, move your head back real quick as the pillar is hit by another. Am I just using my movement to move, or...? It is... I know your guys' movement. Mm -hmm. So I know about how much a decent amount would be for you. Mm -hmm. uh, you know that after a few seconds, he'll get a shot off. Mm -hmm. And if you just chill out there, it's gonna be... <laughs> the pillar isn't gonna last too long. He's not shooting at the pillar right now. He seems to have his, you know, little scope runs. I can go invisible. Well, yeah, but that's assuming he doesn't have a way to see through it. Yeah. Why does that work again? It could be a waste of it, but it'd be. I can do darkness. What's up? How oh, was your face for? Uh, if I cast haste on myself, I could run the entire way. You move really far. I Although, can, if I dash, I'd be able to move 200 feet. <laughs> <laughs> Watch me! <laughs> you would get a... I will say one more thing. You did notice, when it hit them, it moved them back 10 feet. You still would probably be able to make it, or at least, you know... <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, they only hit my head. <laughs> Can I use a cocksucker? <laughs> I don't think it would go that far, but it would be funny. Alright, at Finrod, stand right here. <laughs> I shoot your rod in between the eyes. <laughs> Tower falling over. Close enough. Wait, how far away is that guy? Uh, like 200. 200. I was gonna originally have it be like a thousand, <laughs> but I didn't have enough map for that. Didn't get multiple. I thought about doing this online. You know, having an online map so that way I could have. But I feel like that would get old pretty quickly. I have an idea. I was just gonna take the dodge action and try to run. Well, there are little bits of little shrubbery. Hey, you blocked it! Oh. <laughs> there are little bits of shrubbery there, yeah. Dragon Ball Z pillars. Yeah. So you said it's only 200 foot away, right? Correct. You know how how far the fire jet goes on my cannon? Pretty far. 300 feet. Let me ask. I could hit him. You could. What were you asking? Uh, Make sure you charge it behind Same the pillar. Same thing I don't worry, the moment you move mm -hmm. out to shoot it, it gets sniped. So if I want to get into the crevice, then? Let's see, how far is that? 5, 10, 15, 20. Oh, you know what would suck? 30, 30, 40, 50, 50. If you got hit on your way, lost concentration. Because Haste has a yeah. chance. <laughs> You're like, I'm tired. Yeah. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> I need to catch my breath. <laughs> Yeah. Right. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Back at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're just like getting pushed back. Don't worry, I catch my breath. You just. <laughs> okay. I have a plan. Does it involve shooting this person? It does. Should I not do that? I don't know. Right, I plan on shooting with acid jet. 
Alright, read me the description of that. <laughs> Good luck with that, I guess. Uh, the cannon discharges acid in a line 300 feet long and 5 feet wide. Each creature in that line must make a DC 15 dexterity saving throw, taking 4d10 acid damage on a failed save, or half as much damage on a successful one. In addition, a creature that fails at saving throw makes, um, uh, takes 2d10 acid damage at the start of each of its turns. A creature can end this damage by using its action to wash off the acid with a pint or more of water. Mm -hmm. Alright, so... So you're going to pull it out? First, before I get the cannon out, I'm going to get Jeremy out, so Jeremy can help me. I'm going to... I'm going to try and write on How far is that? 20. Okay, so you move more than half of your speed, correct? So that's like three seconds out there. One Elder Blast is going to try and hit you. Uh huh. Let's see. Can I use shield to. I mean, I get rid of it. rolled a 12, but yeah, you can use shield uh, go for it. No. <laughs> I rolled a 12. Well, I rolled a 12, I got it. No. All right. But. So, you see as you run. Right behind you, there's a little mess. So, Jeremy line. is moving with you, correct? Yes. Alright, so Jeremy gets... Oh, crap. That's better. That's, uh, 17. Wait, wait. Jeremy is dead? <laughs> oh, no! Jeremy. How deep are the crab eye? Crab eye? Wait. Right here? Yeah. 10 feet down. Here, you weren't here for this, but I have little numbers on everything. 30 feet up, 30 feet up, 5 I feet down, 5 feet up. Them. If you're hiding behind something, no. So you have to actually get behind it. Oh, you said a 17. Uh, 17. Yeah, Alright, so, let me roll damage. That's not terrible. Oh, that's you the heavy gear. 11. If you just you know, slide down there, you won't be able to see you. Oh, so okay. how far would Jeremy be? Uh, he'd be halfway, then he'd be near 10 feet back. So because then, of the... So then here. Yeah. Jeremy, like, keep going, or...? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Can he? He could also stay yeah, over. Is it motion-based? It's time-based. That's because like, if it's motion-based, just stand still staring at it. <laughs> just move very slowly. You can't see me. <laughs> can't see me, just move backwards. He moved. Okay. He moved. <laughs> How much damage was I that? I believe that was 11. I didn't roll well. Alright, I have a Can I distract it with a rat? So it's. I mean, are you going to use Minor Illusion to make a rat? Don't use Minor Illusion to make a rat. Minor Illusion is a cantrip. You can do it. Yeah. Oh, okay, no, so, it as long as I get to the crab, I am fine? Let's see. Your movement is 50, right? Yeah, I would get shot at once. Then, yeah, hit. Yeah. You could make it probably. I'm gonna take the dodge action and run there. Uh, could I? 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. So halfway? Mm -hmm. I rolled a 9. Okay. I rolled a natural 20 and a 2. So, it's going right for your face as you dodge out of it at the last second as you slide down the little incline yeah, and land down there. Lucas, what are you up to? Can I make a minor illusion of, of like myself going the opposite way? Well, I could do I'm not sure if think minor illusion can That is a good illusion. idea. Look for your spells. You might have another illusion spell. Minor illusion is a bit... is free, so it's not as powerful. Yeah, I think minor illusion is... Uh... Sound or an image of an object within range. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, must be no larger than a five foot cube. And it doesn't seem like it moves. So you can make, you could use it as a distraction, like make it show up somewhere else and then run the opposite way. Okay. But you can't do something that big. Rat. <laughs> like the one time you rat when it somehow works. A rat of unusual size. That too. 
Uh, can I make it at uh, Grant Russell? Right there. Uh huh. Well, I do that. I, right, right after I do that, I quickly run. And this way. Can I quickly Your run? max speed run is here. 40, right? Yeah, so I'd be there. You'd have to move the 20 first and see what he determines. So here, hold up. It would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, five, 7. Five, now, you'd be here with 20. Hold up. So then it's a question of. I would say you would take two, except I would say that that distracted from one of the shots. It won't be a constant thing since he'll probably catch on. But as yeah. soon as you make that appear, you see it is shot by an elder class as you're able to move. But so right as you're about to make it in there, one is going to try and hit you. That is a 16. Nice. As it's coming right for you, you grab your shield and just... What were it's like running as it, like, it's coming at me, and then I quickly slide down, going down. Slide down, land right next to Ohm. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you come here often? <laughs> As? I'm gonna, um, use Jeremy mm -hmm. to use, uh, to fire the cannon in one shot. Alright, so, as you pop out, Woo! they will get a shot Woo! against you, but you will get a shot against him, too. That is 29. Hit? Yeah. Oh. No damage. <laughs> uh, no, here, let's see, this is uh, 13 damage. Okay. As you hit, but you still have your freaking... I still got my cannon. Here, roll damage. Let me see. I'm rolling damage? Oh. Yeah. You shot I him. You, I, well, I thought you were talking about the damage that you did to me. How much was it? The oh, the damage I dealt. Yes, you, the right? one that you did. I believe that was thirteen, oh, but I could be misremembering it and looking very stupid. Here. Oh, yeah, it is thirteen. Like okay, nice, nice. How's your steak, Zach? Pretty good. Nice. I don't we, really have a table to sit at, though. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I wonder who did that. I had steak earlier today. Was we good? were debating if you actually like steak. Yeah, but well, you seem like a person that doesn't like steak or is like too picky. No. So why do you think that? Oh wait, you need the guy needs wait, to make Wait, what precedent? A, what food do you want like? Uh, the guy needs to make a. Uh, a you roll the damage. But like you wouldn't eat pulled pork. Huh? But like you wouldn't eat pulled pork. I mean, yeah, I could eat it. Okay, sixty. Okay, hand you. How high up is the tower? Here, what's it say? Uh, that fifteen feet, twenty-five feet. Wait, twenty-five? Oh, wait, that's thirty feet, so forty feet up in here. Why was up? If I use the gauntlet, I could punch him right to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yes. he's also super focused on down there. Maybe it'll just go nothing personnel. What's up? 19 damage. 19? Not great. What's the save? Uh, DC 50. Yes. Is it 19? 100. 19 damage. Alright, alright. So that did. Alright, so. And he takes uh, 2d10 at the start of each turn unless he washes the acid off. Okay. Call me perception. Perception. I said, man, I wish I could. You guys are in the pit. I know. Uh, 13. 13. You hit a crow. Maybe. Uh, I mean, you were a bit distracted by the pain. Ah, uh, I need to. Uh, you gonna do anything after that? You know, like get back behind the bush? Yeah, I'm gonna get back behind <laughs> the bush. I'm hiding. He can't He's in the pit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. Supposed to be uh, there's an eraser. Alright, no, so, no. you two. What are you guys up to? I mean, probably the safe bet would be to go to the pillar over there. Do I have to move movement, or if it's just... You can move it. This, we're not in official uh, initiative. Let's see right there. Up from this angle. Yeah, yeah, you can move there without you. Can I go here? Yeah, go for it. We're not in initiative, so... Do I make that? Mm. 
Can I shoot him from here? Hmm? He has full cover. You're also in the pit. Oh, there you guys. He is right behind cover. It is basically like how you guys are. Oh. Uh, yeah, I could probably go there and try and get behind those dudes. What dudes? I mean, whatever this is. Oh, it's basically the ground got pushed up by something. I don't freaking know. Hmm. I said something about legal company. Right? Hmm. Yeah, I know you're talking, but I'm pretty sure it's talking. It's the giants. Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm going to... No, it's the bracket. <laughs> it's the horny bugs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take the dodge action. I'm going to go for this again. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Alright! Got a 27 and a 19. Miss. Sick. So, as you come towards you, dodge. 30, 35. As you slide behind the dunes. 40, 45. Run around. As <laughs> Dan, Dan, Dan. move over Dan, Dan. to Lucas. Dan. Dan, Dan, Dan. Now, I will say, I said this, I had this with James. From this angle, that pillar is high enough that you can get behind it. Um, what about there? Mm-hmm. They if, really not able to get me. No, 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 no. From like I said, from the angle, that pillar is tall enough that you can move there without much trouble. Abby, do you have anything? Uh, I am going to use blur. And that that gives people a. I a, see. He is also up in the air. Mm -hmm. um, a disadvantage. Mm -hmm. uh, On attack. Um, yeah. So I'm going to use that on my Describe the spell. I know you had a trick so before, so I figured. It did, I don't remember. Hey, yeah, but I did, yeah, the little little wristband things. So I'm going to like press a couple buttons on on my little wristband. And then my, my form will start just like waving around, kind of. That's it. You're all weak. Alright, so, and then? If Jeremy runs behind me, would that mean that the guy would have a harder time hitting Jeremy? It also means that if you got hit, you'd be like, Oh! <laughs> oh, it's freaking Jeremy! Both of you guys fall over. Get out of here. Uh, let's see, how far is that? Seven. Wait. Seven, so that is... Wait, wait, wait. Three, five feet. Ooh. You have 40 <laughs> feet. She didn't yeah. move I didn't yet. Move Someone yet. will try to hit you, but yeah. <laughs> right? He's going to get an attack on you. Uh, Alright, Lucas, you're up. Yeah, I'm up. Okay. Yeah, I'm up. Okay. Yeah, I'm up. 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 And keep running. Yeah, so what is move. this? Also, yeah, Abby didn't move. But no, it's not yet. What? Uh, you see, <laughs> what? It seems to be a uh, spiraling, you know, mountain. But he goes up like ten feet here. There's a wall. Ten feet, not ten. Five feet here. There's a wall. Could he see you if you're hugging the wall? And see where he is? Probably not. I like those hugs. All right, Abby. Okay. You're all blurry. Now, how long does blur last? Blurry. Uh, concentration for up to a minute. A minute? You got it. And that does mean that if I get hit, I have to make mm. a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. How many rounds is a minute? Because this is... It's more based on a uh, time. Uh, yeah, every yeah. half of your movement you move, he gets a shot. So what if, 15 feet. what if you sprint? Sprint? I know that's kind of time but also... You would have made it the entire way, basically. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I was I was asking about that, like just for keeping track of how long the spell lasts. I'll give you some movements. I don't know. Can I do a minor illusion of song? Wait, hang on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, you're not right. Wait, are you using minor illusion to help her? Twenty-five, thirty. <laughs> yeah. Well, actually, I can't reach that far with it. Mm -hmm. You can still make a distraction. Oh, that may be the pizza. Do you start the quarter? Yeah. I did start it. Okay, you're about to move. Mm -hmm. It was entertaining as sitting here. We were talking about maybe helping her. What are you going to do? Yeah. 
Can you carry on still and let me in my push? Okay, how are you communicating? Huh? How are you communicating? Hey! Yeah, that's what we're Walkie talking. How hard would it be to get over this? No, I don't. Okay. Just hope nothing hears you when you walk over it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Am I, am I going? Go for it. Alright, so I guess I'll go first and then Jeremy so that I don't trip and fall back. <laughs> okay. And I've still got the... Blur. Well, actually, we ate, so that's, that means you can snack, right? Yeah, go for it, go for it. Fine. Okay, so, 5, 10, 15, uh, <laughs> It'll play. You, we think it hit. I don't think it hit. I think it hit. Just, hey, just, just a one. sneaking suspicion. So it it's Jeremy's turn. <laughs> So, you see it goes flying, it goes right through your blur instead of you. I mean, it depends how and high this mountain might just You make it, probably. So What's up? It? How high is this part of the ledge going? Five feet. Probably. So we can go there, probably. You do also have your slippers. Like I know. <laughs> That's what I'm going to use. I'm going to tie up the can wall. I keep moving? Hmm? You, you made it to the gravity, right? Not yet. How far is it completely? So I'm at 15, so 40, 15, 20, 25, 30. You can slide down there? Yeah, now I'm going to use, um, I can use, like, a, wait, 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 I mean, you can't just go there. You're in the pit, you can't see it. <laughs> right. What is this, in the pit or in the hole? I love that. No, it's the hole, not the pit. I'm curious. All right. Now, Jeremy's gonna go. Mm -hmm. You said like half movement was... He gets an attack from half of your movement. Okay, so half of Jeremy's movement is, I think, 20, I think. Let me double check. Yeah, half of Jeremy's is 20. 5, 10, 15, 20. Sorry. I got 16. Oh, that's it. That's it. And that is 18 damage, and he's pushed 10 feet back. Right behind that cover. It just got moved back over here. Yeah. Is that, hmm? is that technically in the pit? I guess. You can just... <laughs> That's what they were doing. They were sliding Good. in there all cool like. Jeremy slides in there all Jeremy awesome. freaking like rolls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy <laughs> trips. No, I meant for like purpose like a wheel just like... <laughs> Sonic down. What's up? I guess. Yes. No. Everyone, wait. I lied in my way. Nah. Is this cover right here? Yeah. That's not covered. Okay. Would you be able to shoot me around here? Probably. Okay, I have a plan. I'm gonna run, he's gonna shoot at me. Then you have your chance to go. Okay. I mean, <laughs> two targets, that's less. <laughs> How are you doing? Just let me know what's your illusion again. Three targets as he wants. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So? Just let me know once you're ready to go. What would I use my illusion on? Make a face? <laughs> Make a rat? <laughs> <laughs> well, at least deciding what to do. Can I, like, put Jeremy back in my. Sure. The... He's, he's in the bag. So bag. you can crush okay, another I'll... thing in the bag? No, this is the, uh... Um... Holding bag. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, okay, I'll do what I said. <laughs> I'm not gonna... I won't crush Jeremy. Although, no, Jeremy doesn't matter as much because I can just freak wow. out Jeremy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I didn't say it to Jeremy's face. What if Jeremy could see you now? Jeremy won. 
or Jeremy too. What would stick? <laughs> that's how you feel. <laughs> so I'm gonna make a throw another illusion. So you make an illusion, and at the same time, I'm guessing. Yeah. He didn't give me a signal. I think him going. <laughs> that's a signal. Oh, okay. Wait. Uh, yeah, I think I'll go over here somewhere. So, so you guys can move your full movement. Oh. He'll try and hit you guys twice. If you guys want to sprint. No, I was going to uh, use dodge. And, and right. First attack against you. 18. No. Second attack against you. 17. No. Alright. Now, Lucas, I got normal. Two normal attacks. I got a. I got a 13 and a 17. <laughs> hey, oh, dude, this is, you guys are both sprinting. Things are exploding around you. You're dodging gunfire. Your illusion got shot in the wait, face twice. Wait, I need to read. Oh, what are we reading? Alright. No, because it's not a ranged weapon attack. Okay. Were you thinking if you could... <laughs> yes. But it says ranged weapon attack. That would be sick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Watch if it's not oh, the back. moving One. again. If you guys are both still moving, you'll both get half the attack. Sorry. They're yeah, in the middle of everything, so... Yeah. Alright. They'll both... One more attack against both of you guys until you're against that. Right. You are pink. 19. Yes. I'm already against it. You? I moved 15 to get there. 20, not natural. I still only moved 15. Wait, minutes. really? Yes. How did I find that? Sorry. Yeah, I was going to say, I was right here already because I had 50 movements. So, yeah, once you're right for you, take your shield, just. Ah, as you make it right up against the wall. Abby, what's up? Uh, I'm going to move behind that bush there. Alright, how far are you? Let's see. I mean, I sure hope you don't get Five, shot. 10, 15. Well, you're. Right here is where you really get out of the cover. Okay. So then I can get my. Yeah, yeah, you'll be cover. fine right there. Oh, uh, it's kind of like climbing the wall. Where are you climbing? Right here. Alright, right there. Let's see. I'd say at this moment he's distracted by Abby. One, Yo. two, three. Vincent, <laughs> 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 not looking good for this day. <laughs> As you guys make it to the base of the watchtower, you see. An Eldritch Blast shoot at a bush out there that she's hiding behind. Can I see them up there? You can see them at okay. the base of the watch. Yeah. Can I like, run to this bush now? Yeah. So as so, you can, how far five, is that? 10, 15. 15. You make that without trouble. You see he is shooting at something down there. He hasn't seen to notice you guys make it oh. to the base of the watch. I'm going to move to the back of it and start climbing up. What are you doing? Oh. I, I forgot about Nora. I had. If oh, people are near me, they have more movement. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you see as Drake has walked to, to behind it and he begins going up, silent. <laughs> Make me oh. a stealth check. <laughs> you uh, do have Lucky, by the way. Do you remember what <laughs> Lucky is? You got three luck points. After you roll and see the result, you can choose to re-roll it. Once. Well, three times, but it was me. <clears throat> Alright, you use one of your luck points, re-roll that. What's your plus? Four. So, four total of? Wait, no, plus six. Oh? Uh, 22. I, I plan to climb it as well. So he's there for the scale. I'll let you roll me stealth too. I guess I'm like, you know, my feet are the main thing that's pulling me on. I'm still. No, you know how uh, Adam West would climb the wall? Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh, like, yeah, how they are clearly just walking. Oh. <laughs> that's you. 16. 16? Second. That might actually. That's not. I don't actually use extra movement, I have athlete. <laughs> well, what is that? Climbing doesn't cost you extra movement. It has other stuff attached to it. So, can I start 
How far is that? Five, ten, fifteen. You would get one attack on you, but you can do that. Okay. All right. See. In disadvantage, remember. Disadvantage. Well, that's good. That first one. Fifteen. Fifteen. My AC is 16. So, you see he's still clear. As you guys make it to the top, you see he has not noticed you. He's distracted by something over there. That ending. Thanks, Obligated. Hey, Paladin will never remember. Look, if that's in the music back on. Oh, you're right. If you guys turn the music back on. Oh, there. See, this is why. Where are your DAs? Here. And it's plus one for each higher, so three D8, which then I'm just going to double what the total is. Sure. Five. Eleven. 17, 34. 34 damage? 34 plus 17, so. 51? <laughs> yes. Good hit. Good hit. And now my second punch? <laughs> uh, probably misses, honestly. If I can find uh, 13. 13 misses. Oh, if only I had a bonus attack to punch him again. <laughs> Fourteen. Fourteen, that missed <laughs> Let's go. So, punch him, knock the air out of him, and then you just... I didn't expect to hit him that hard. Yeah, yeah. You, you were... Shadow. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so... <laughs> it's his turn. He barely gets up to his feet, you see. He unhooks something from his belt. Pulls it. 
like you guys don't look like you're from around here, but you really don't want to know what happens if this goes off. What happens? As you give us a demonstration. <laughs> You see, he's holding it, and that's his turn. He is giving you a threat. Oh, good thing I'm not up there. <laughs> so, what do you do? He's holding ye old grenade. Call that a grenade? That's it's a cylinder. That yeah, yeah, it's a grenade. <laughs> ye old grenade. Punch the grenade out of his hand. You're up. As it's a tense moment, he's holding it. What's. As he's looking back and forth to you guys. Uh, how close are we? <laughs> he's ledge. right. The ledge, he is right there. Can I push him off? Making a strength check. Against. <laughs> strength check. Oh, wait. Uh -huh. Athletics check. See? That will make a difference. <laughs> make Actually, I won't push him off. I'll just use. I'll just pull <laughs> Yours does not have the knockback. Oh, it doesn't? No, that is a very specific thing. But yeah. Ah, yeah, I'm trying so to. So push, that. let's see. Oh, great. Seven. <laughs> oh, it went great. I rolled a one. <laughs> oh. As you shoulder bash him, he falls over the ledge. As he hits the ground, and with the frickin' that- I sure hope the watchtower doesn't collapse on the rest. Uh -oh. That's enough damage to kill him. As he's on the ground, you hear a- And then you hear uh -oh. an incredibly loud explosion. But, uh, I heard that it one. is a loud thing. As everyone takes- Everyone? Yes, one damage. Thunder. Including me? Yes. Oh. I don't know half. Everyone was in a uh, <laughs> thousand foot radius. Okay. As we are out of initiative, there are a few things. You notice that up there, what, what, what are you <laughs> looking down at the body. Help! <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. You can begin making way this way. That would be a big explosion. Up here, you see that there's a chest in the corner. If you open up. You see that there is a uh, little bits of jewelry and other people's wallets. Let's see, there's about what? three thousand gold in there. Really good. And there is also let's see, there are goggles of knights. There I is a gold and ivory sword handle. It seems to be magic in some way. Let's see, what was the last one? It was. It's the multi tool. That's. All-purpose tool. It seems to be. Let's. Sorry, it's a weird thing. Yeah, it's an all-purpose tool. It's, I don't know what it does. It's a screwdriver. It can transform into a variety of tools as an action. Do the goggles just seem to work if I just put them on? Yeah, you can. It's a bit bright, but yeah, you can see. Have I, made it, have I made it there yet, or are they just? Yeah, you can make it up there. Okay. <laughs> Looking down Hold at you. <laughs> As you walk past him on the ground, you see he has some things on him. Ooh, what's he got? You see, on his face, he has his own pair of goggles on, called Eyes of the Eyes of the Eagle. Alright. Which is how he was able to snipe it from so far away. Base, do you know what those are? No. It lets you here, let me I guess. No. Do they hit me see really far? They are I mean, uh attunement, but uh, these crystal lens fit over the eyes while wearing them. You have advantage on wisdom, checks our line of sight. In conditions of clear visibility, you can make out even extremely distant creatures and objects as small as two feet across. There is no limit on that. Wow. At least it doesn't say any limits. Yeah, let's look back to the call music. Man, if only Kirak was here for this 3,000 gold we did this year. Third, <laughs> he has illusionist bracers on. That allows you to, uh, I believe, if you cast a spell, you can cast a cantrip as a bonus action. Mm -hmm. I don't care. That is, <laughs> it's very well known being good on a certain class. But you know, is he a human? 
No, no, no. It's if you, whenever you cast a cantrip, you can use a bonus action to cast it. We got it. Uh, he is. One second, what's my description? Let's see. He seems to have a bluish skin, green hair. His hair looks a little wet for some reason. Hmm. What were you saying? What was your. Oh, yeah. I realized. What yeah, you did. Yeah. Anyway, so. <clears throat> Uh, what are you doing? There are 3,000 gold pieces, the uh, multi-tool, which gives a plus one to artificer spells. Oh. Um, <laughs> there's that oh. sword handle that's, you know, a sword handle. I'm going to punch someone with the sword handle. <laughs> hey, look, you want the sword handle? Since she got the multi-tool, he got the goggles. Sure. And someone had the illusionist bracers and eyes of eagle. Uh, Lucas, look into yeah. your the inventory. Add an item called Sunblade. You can't attune to it yet, but. Goggles what was the with night vision goggles that he got? Goggles of night. They allow you, I believe they give you a dark vision of it's either 30 or 60. What is it? 60. Sunblade. Just add it to your equipment. And if you already have it, it increases it by 60 more. I already have night vision. Lucas, it's a lightsaber. Mm. You're a lightsaber. You're a loony. Alright, so. How much gold was it? 3,000 among all of you. So, I would go 1,000 each. Mine, not your mom. Yeah, <clears throat> mine. So we each get a thousand. What's up? I'm gonna cloak up this place, man. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> All of those attacks were supposed to have a disadvantage? <laughs> yes. This. No one ever remembers the close cloak of displacement. It didn't matter. Anyway. No one ever remembers whatever. It didn't matter any anyway, yeah. except for the one that I actually did whatever. Ended. Okay. <laughs> All right. There are three people there watching someone run two hundred feet in six seconds. <laughs> I mean, even if he. By the way, that was how he was able to shoot so many other glasses. Yeah. The bracers. What's up? Oh, did I actually hit him with the cannon, or did I yeah, miss? Yeah, you hit him. You okay. got like, 16 health, I think. Wait, what was that? Yeah. Alright, so? Uh, do we... Do we split to go between the three of us, or is that also? Yeah, I guess that's here. what we decided. Okay, I just added that and go to mine. No, oh, it's easier. There we go. 2,200. Alright, so? What would you like to do now? Is there anything else nearby, or is it just a random watchtower? I mean, isn't we're going to a village? Well, this is directly on the path. <laughs> Man, I sure hope we didn't just attack this watchtower for a village. No, this is directly <laughs> in between. Well, he shot at you. How are you guys doing it? This is on the path. To, there's not much of a path here, but I assure you, it's the path. Uh, <laughs> the path directly between the towns. He seems to have been terrorizing it, okay. and he had a ton of. Wallets that belong to other people. Yeah. And jewelry. What is that one person? We forgot to investigate. No, he's dead. He's a dead guy. He's oh. missing his wallet. <laughs> he was shot with the other class. Did we take his money since he's dead? Probably. I think they're dead. Are these the ethics we're worried about now? We just killed someone and we're worried if we took someone else's wallet that was already dead? I mean, that man was shooting at you. Yeah. yeah. Still killed him. So? Sorry. I'm not the one that killed him. You shot him with acid! I didn't do the final blow. That's fair. Anyway! <laughs> so? Still assisted in murder. <laughs> did you smite him? Did I didn't like deny him. Like 90% of his health? I didn't deny him. <laughs> I, just because I'm accusing someone else of it, doesn't mean I did it. Insist in it. All right. So Besides, he did to himself. He pulled the pin. That's true. <clears throat> the I didn't pull the pin. I didn't say you. The guy uh, the sniper dude with the eagle face. I guess we keep going. So as you keep walking forward, 
Can I? Can you be my stack then? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. What's the? Do we read it? We say you know you can call it the. You did tell me. Stack to the rise. Wait your commands and remains until the end of your next long rest. Yeah, sure. What does the Spectre do? He's a ghost that's basically his teammate. Here, go over to your extra page. It's actually in there. Spectre. Go back. Oh, crap. Hang up. Oh, yeah, it's been there for a long time. What's up? Uh, I have a little bump that is apparently, or at least we get. Bloodies? Like right next to a vein. So oh. if I pick at it a little bit, it starts. So why are you doing? I didn't know I was. Don't hurt yourself. I didn't know I was. I didn't know I was picking at it. I was just absentmindedly picking at a little bump on my arm. All right. So <clears throat> as you guys move forward, you feel a grumble. Uh oh. I wonder why. I wonder why. Uh, uh are there any Damn. big like rocks nearby that we could? Perhaps flat one. Give me a second. They need a deck save, all three of you. One plus two because the Wow. Uh, plus No that is the plus. <laughs> it's plus that? No, not plus that. Ten plus two, twelve. Did you add two from me? Oh plus two more! My aura oh, of protection. Alright, that is fourteen. <laughs> Your aura? Yeah. Is that what me too? Mm-hmm. I mean, I also give people nearby extra movement, so it's also an aura. Uh, 17. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, deja vu. Yeah, I got 14. Plus 2 for him. This one feels good. I've got 9. So, <clears throat> yeah, James. Yeah. You feel the ground beneath him begin getting pushed up by something? Hmm. Once again, you have the one who <laughs> push. <laughs> push one. He's got two hands. Yeah, but they're yeah, but you're heavy. <laughs> you're gonna have to dramatically like tackle them out of the way. So, which do you choose? <laughs> Wait, who can survive? Probably best. both of you, maybe. No, who can survive the best? I'm sure she can. Or it's really dramatic and I push them both and I stay. <laughs> Are you gonna do that? <laughs> what? I would I would allow that one. I mean I did kind of get them shot last time doing something. <laughs> it's the least I could do. So as you guys are like, whoa, who is that? Oh dramatically pushes <laughs> both of you as from the ground. Something erupts. It is a ah. giant scaled purple creature. Worm like, and it's. It's gonna try and take a bite out of your good buddy home. Oh no. I sure hope nothing bad happens. <laughs> I'll send a picture of him, by the way. He looks. There we go. If you would check the dis. I'll be so kind as to check the Discord. As <clears throat> it's going to take a bite. And you should put that is a twenty set. That does hit. Okay. Abby, in the video, you should have a every time he sends a one of the pictures, you have the picture like pop up on the video. I mean, that would make sense. So that is twenty five piercing damage. I need another deck save. Okay, so it bites you, but you manage to wiggle out as you see <laughs> the worm. <laughs> Land on the ground and as ah, back at it. Back at it again, a crispy cream. I'm 
gonna move us over here. Oh no! Uh, oh. Oh, oh no! Snap! <laughs> oh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the giant worm. There you go. Oh, that works. Ready <laughs> itself. Hey, where's the specter? Where is the specter? Right here. That's the worm. <laughs> and let it focus. Need the cool shot. There we go. <laughs> there we go. As you're not in his mouth, as you say, I'm gonna dance myself there. Yeah, but it's more funny. <laughs> as roll me another initiative, y'all. Oh boy, let's see what I get this time. Ah, uh, yes, a nine. Give me a second. Where's this initiative? <laughs> there it is. Found it. <laughs> Not great. Or I guess it's good for you, but. I mean, not for Abby, apparently. Or me. I got nine. Mine's not that much, but it's 14. 14? Could definitely be better, but. Abby? Seven. Nine. Nice. Let's see. What would hurt a worm most? Heartbreak. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you might be on the same <laughs> What did you get? Six? Oh, what I get? Yeah. Oh, I get a seven. Yeah, that'll show you. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so, James, or Omrathidar, Blank, you're first. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to use my bonus action for chromatic infusion. By the way, Lucas, you also have that. Just for future reference. The <laughs> sun, mm -hmm. You don't have that equipped yet. Yeah, I know. Anyway, so, I don't you go, as your fist begin to what? A cold aura begins to erupt around them. I do like how cold has kind of been your thing. I like that. <laughs> I mean, it's bad that what else am I realistically going to use against a lot of these? Yeah, sure. It's like a safe bet. Fire is like the most resistant thing. So, I mean, we're also in a desert. God, <laughs> pull yourself up. Rude. Guess what I'm gonna do? That's right. I'm gonna punch him. Okay. Get, no, 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 as in like you you can't use it yet. That takes a long rest. Does it sound like to attune to a new magic item? I yeah. have to attune. No, it didn't say so. Well, you can't. The sunblade also it gives you something else. Here, what's up? Sorry. I'm punching with the twenty-three. That hits you. Okay. Uh, yeah, get to roll it a lot of dice. Oh, that's Oh, that's fine. Four. Here. Five. Well, hold off. Uh, 13 damage. 13? Yes. Now I'm gonna do it again. Nice. Oh, that's a 12. <laughs> that misses. Well, you punch it, but it's a giant worm. You can't prove it. Its in bones her. are too strong. What did a giant worm have? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think what? worms have bones. Yeah, but this is a giant worm. It's the size of a freaking, like. Yeah, I'm gonna get him. Look at that. <laughs> All right. Look at that compared that's, to you guys. That's my turn. Alright, so up next is actually Drake. As you just got pushed out of the way. You see that your buddy Ohm oh, has been bit. He's injured. My hero. As your hero is injured. I stab him. And then as you run up, yeah. Stab Ohm? <laughs> Can I stab my hero? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Plus. <laughs> hit. Remember Life Drinker? Yeah, plus five. So 2d6 plus all that. <clears throat> Twenty-two. Twenty-two tame. Alright, I believe we have a second attack. I do? Yeah. I think we forgot to do it last time. You just took him out. You didn't need to. Oh, no, I did No, it was because you were doing a surprise attack, like... One? Yeah. 
So you try and set your spear gets it's stuck in it between its uh yeah actually yeah you know, you're flanking. It'd be a lot advantage. Of we'll get thirteen. Thirteen. So yeah, you this one <laughs> it goes right off of it. Up next is Abby. Uh, so does it take an action to get your guy? Yeah. Uh, it's half of your movement. Half of my movement. Wait, hold up. What? You have your spectre. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're not the only one with minions. You got mad. Yeah. What? I know, I was going to call the dinosaur rex right there. <laughs> yes, there's also a T Rex there. <laughs> Let me ignore that. So. I'm finding better. How much damage, or what's he doing? I'm trying to figure <laughs> that out. What's I happening again? Oh, I just killed it's it. It's called Pirate Attack. Dude, that sounds sick. Yeah, but I want the ones we had. Because the last one I had, Quirky Combat. Dude, it's pretty lame. Well, let's look up combat music. No, d d combat music. Just copyright free. Uh, suspense. Pirate Attack is still there. Epic battle. Can I use life during? Okay. Probably. Well, the, the guy. Yeah, I think that's his attack. So I roll 10 D. Wait. I think you probably have to hit first. Hey, can one of you guys help this kid? Sorry. Do what? Plus four. Figure out his abilities. This kid.
All right. Got anything else? That would be considered a magic weapon attack, wouldn't it? Did you attack? Magic weapon attack. Alright, fine. The sword is magic. Me. I just don't know if sword burst would count. Well, because I guess I didn't technically hit it. That would not be a weapon. Okay. Then... The way, are you next to anyone? You're not? Okay. Oh, I have an extra attack. That's a spell that you just used. Oh. Oh, yeah. That, I guess that's it. Alright, so, after you, it would be our good buddy, the worm. Not worm this time. <gasps> yes. Alright, so first things first, I'm gonna try to take a chomp out of our good buddy, Drake. Uh-oh. Ooh. Mm. Second. Basic magic. See, so that is a 30 to hit. Does it hit? Yeah. <laughs> nah. Alright, so that is... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 20 damage. God. I need you to make a deck save. What's up? The song playing. Oh yeah, it's with this to okay. I believe it's a 19. 19? You fail. So, it swallows you whole. Oh dear. We need that guy. Uh oh. We just learned about this backstory too. <laughs> <laughs> and it's going to make a second attack. You see that its tail is going to come up. It's going to try and sting our good buddy. Um, Rude. 16. No. <laughs> There's a big difference. As rest of its turn, it is going to try and burrow into the ground and get away from you. Uh -oh. Now that Drake is in its tummy tummy. Uh oh. As you both get opportunity attacks. Oh. <clears throat> uh, 21 to hit. 21 to hit, Abby. <clears throat> uh. Seventeen damage. Um, I will use Firebolt. Can't do that. Yeah. Do you have the Warcaster? Um, uh, probably not. I'll just attack. It's my sword. <clears throat> I, think I, get, I think I get two attacks with the sword. You get one because it's an opportunity attack. Yeah, I don't attack you on it. It's not... You can, but it's a bit more difficult. If you deal, but everything that can swallow you, if you deal enough damage, it'll puke you out. Thirteen. My, uh, While you're in its stomach, you're gonna, you're gonna be taking acid damage. Mm. How much? Thirteen. Thirteen. As you both slash it, as it begins burrowing through the ground. Can I smite it? Did you want to add your smite? Yeah. I have a so I, I, spell did, spot to use. I did not hit. Hmm? Did I hit it? What, what, what did you get? I got 13. Oh, no, you missed it. Okay. I thought you... Okay, uh, third level means 48. <coughs> uh, an extra 20 damage. Is it 20? So 37 total, I believe. Yeah. Alright, so... As it goes through the ground, right. you guys see behind it, it leaves a 10 foot diameter. I got to attack here. That's because it's not. It's no opportunity, opportunity attack. attack is when they leave, when they're like trying to run away. It's not trying to run away from you because you're in its tummy. But you skip my turn. Ooh, I no. <laughs> he, he got a one. Actually, he got it. Very. That was during. This was its turn. These were just opportunity attacks. Alright, so. Oh, okay. He's gone, he's gone, and you see there is a tunnel. 
How far did it go? 30 feet, but it looks like there is... There's another battlefield down there because I wanted to change the scenery. Wow. <laughs> Is the Spectre coming with them? Yeah! Dude, he's... He's Drake's buddy! <laughs> I want to punch it again. Brennan, how did, Here, give me a second. What's up? The Spectre have a two opportunity attack. Here, give me the eraser. Get this? Or give me eraser. Alright. Ah. I'll get this side. We need to make sure to go over that with the white erase so it doesn't stick. By that he means the water. <sighs> Here I was just getting myself all buffed up, ready to punch it a lot. Oh, you can still do that? Yeah, but now it's running away. Yeah, it just wants to eat the prey it's caught. Yeah. In peace. But I just saved that guy. Come on, can you just that? <laughs> so, <clears throat> beginning of your turn, uh, top of the round, it's you. I'm going to assume you follow. Okay. So you drop in right here. You see that it's like. <laughs> Am I a monster? Am I a monster? He is a monster. <laughs> <laughs> Am I a monster? I'm a monster, not a monster. <laughs> James, you're back up. Oh, let's go. Am I down there too? Not yet. Okay. Once you turn, you can show up. Okay. You gotta punch it. As you're going after your friend. 22. 22 hit. Thirteen. Thirteen. Then I'm gonna do it again. Uh, twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. That does hit. <laughs> uh, eleven damage. Eleven damage. All right. Um, where are the key points? No. Uh, flurry of blows for two more attacks. Mm hmm. Uh, dirty 20. Dirty 20, got it, hit. Uh, 13. 13. Damage. And last one. Uh, another dirty 20. Hit. You really want Lucas back. <laughs> Give him back! Uh, 15. <laughs> It is not yours to take! It's not your time yet! <laughs> 15 damage, then may as well smite it. I have the spell slots for it. For, uh, uh, 10 more damage. 10 more damage? Got it. That is my turn. Alright, up next is Lucas. At the beginning of your turn, you take. Take 21 acid damage. Oh, and it's being in his stomach hurts a little bit? Yeah, a bit. As you can still attack. But you do have disadvantage. What <laughs> happens if I use the ties in his mouth? <laughs> <laughs> I got it. I think you, you can <laughs> try that. <laughs> Here, uh. You guys, here, let me roll something. Do you plan to? Do you plan to? Yeah. Drop the fight, guys. Yeah. Alright, so, <laughs> you're stuck in the stomach, but you managed As... As it's enough of a disturbance to force the worm to puke you out. <laughs> <laughs> the omnipotent one. <laughs> As you're, uh, you get up, still burning from the acid, 
<laughs> Imagine they're taking you still have your bonus the geyser. Answer. You probably... Well, technically, if you use the can... geyser and it puked him out... You can't attack, that took your action, but... What's up? If, if he used the geyser to make the mm -hmm. worm puke him out, would that be would that be considered water, like, washing off acid? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is just for the man who thinks it's Uh, you have your bonus action. I recommend, I know DM blah blah blah, but you're, you, and you haven't played this character. I recommend, uh, Hexing. Okay. Yeah, call him short. Normally, <laughs> Zach, would, Zach would do this, but you know, he's not, so. Hmm. Eight percent left. Hmm. Uh, clean, that's fine. We're gonna have to end mid-combat. Oh. Yeah, why? <clears throat> Here, put the ring on it. Oh! He put a ring in the worm! <laughs> he would still love the worm if he had his girlfriend. Guys, do we make a marriage joke or a ringworm joke? I can't decide. Um, would you still love me? I was thinking, um... Would you still love me if I was your girlfriend? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> That's good. Good job. You deserve a pat on the back. Alright, so, after that, your specter can catch up, right? What's its speed? I think he's looking. What's your specter's speed? Find the specter. Fifty. No. Speed zero feet. That is its walking speed. Fly fifty. Alright, it catches up. As I'll just say that's its turn. Since you couldn't exactly command it. Anyway, up next, Abby. Mm -hmm. You're up. Okay. Where do I drop in? You're saying like over here. Yep. Right? Yeah. Which that I think would be the thirty feet? Then you can run up there. Nah, it's fine. Oh, okay. So what damage type did I do? It's weird. Hmm? What's up? What damage type? No way. 30. Okay. Alright, so you would have flanking from there. Alright. And remember your sword's ability. If you decide to do that. You also have spells, but yeah. Normally you use it on your guy, but your guy's sleeping. He's saying we'll break. He's <laughs> eating. <laughs> Hold on, worm snack break. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that was the sniper, bad guy. Alright. Oh thank you! Oh, how nice of you. I know. Really? He had a gas mask for some reason. Alright, what are you up to? I'm gonna hit it with my sword! Alright, so... First... first swing. Just be sure to watch your hands too afterwards. 24. Hit! Roll damage. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, 25. Hit. Uh, I forgot to roll extra for 20. Oh, well. <laughs> Remember, you still have your second attack? Yeah. Um, 10. 10? Almost completely a low roll. Did you roll damage? You did. Here, roll your attack. Second attack. Second.
two, four, seven. Two, four, plus seven, eleven, twenty-two. Mm -hmm. So twenty-two plus twenty-three, forty-five. Total or yes, All right. total damage. And last one, uh, twenty-four to hit. Twenty-four to hit. Hit. I'm going to kill you, and then kill you again. Uh, thirteen damage. Thirteen hit. All right. What do you mean hit? I know it hit. Hit. Yeah, strap. Uh, and then one more smite for the road. Uh, twelve more damage. All right, he's looking hurt, but still not insane. Uh, uh, Alright, that your turn? Yes. Lucas, you're on a stab. All right, can I get my hands on you? Hmm. Twenty-six. Twenty-six hit. <laughs> I do. You're gonna do that? Yeah. Uh, it's also hexed. Oh yeah, it's also hexed. So plus five. Sick. <laughs> plus five more. Okay, he just has a lot of guarantee. <laughs> he has a big modifier. You you're rolling like seventy dice. <laughs> that was the plan. <laughs> Technically, was a. Damage. I believe it is 68, correct? I don't know for that one. 64. You're, were you using your smite? Yeah. I hope you gotta use your smite too. My smite? You got yeah, basically. Basically. I need to heal myself. You got an arcane jolt. You don't need to do that. Okay. Just smite, right. just kill it. Okay, yeah. Abby, with the amount of damage that he was able to deal with you, what would heal him? Just kill it. That is the sad truth about D&D. Healing is not as good as attack. Healing in combat doesn't work. Unless you have heal. Damage is the best form of healing. Because you kill them before they Sorry, right? Force. You expend a spell slot, deal... I believe it's 58 at this point because you have level... Or 68 because you have that level of spells. Uh, Scroll down until you find Eldritch... Mm -hmm. Find them. That there. Yeah, find Eldritch Smite. There it is. Okay. Oh, you gotta put this on the loop. Once per turn, when you hit a creature with your pack weapon, you can expand. Expand the warlock spell slot to do an extra 1d8 force damage to the target. Plus another 1d8 per level of the spell slot. Yeah, 68. Roll. Isn't that a d6? As a d6? Yeah. d8. 31. No, that's a d6. Roll d8. d8. Oh, d8. Yeah. Bigger numbers. In theory. In theory. Okay, dude. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> that's more. <laughs> okay, he's not looking too good. You got a second attack, I believe. Yep. Alright. That one again. 16. 16, that misses. Mm. I believe that's your turn. Abby? You're up. So, wait, can I use actions and then a bonus action? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if I were to, like, attack it twice, I could use a bonus action for, like... Yes. That is how D&D &D works. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I just, I just have it right here. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> I'm looking on here, I forgot a card. I'll just hit it with my sword twice. Yeah. Alright, roll the attack. Was not gonna touch it, so I'm like, knock it down, but I think it's too big. Yep. It says you may knock the target prone if it is huge or smaller. This is uh, 26 to hit. That hits. This mini is not accurate, it is actually gargantuan. Hmm. Are you gonna arcane jolt? Yeah. Oh, okay. But, like, damage to Got it. Oh. Once. I don't think it matters. He doesn't? I don't think so. Right. Damage. Seven damage. Seven damage. Alright, so how do you want to do this? <laughs> Alright! All three of you smite. Alright. So I'm gonna like grip my side 
Because I'm, I'm out. <laughs> and I'm gonna like grip my sword and like shove it up like through like through the jaw of the worm. Skewer the worm. As it like wreathes about, crashing everywhere until it eventually comes to a stop. Unalive. Well, you guys didn't expect this turn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think that's what Ryan was afraid of? <laughs> no, that was just. Oh no, it was fair! Why do why you always have everything fall on fair? <laughs> As you are. Clear! <laughs> Oh, you're going to heal? Uh, I lay on hands. How much health do you have? Because that poison There you go. 15! Hey, add 45. Thank you. Four. Oh, okay. I only have 67 health. Not 4d5. 4 45. 45. Dang. Okay. It lay on hands full, so I can just expend the entire thing. <laughs> there we go. That's, I'm back to half my health. Good job! I'm at, so, I'm, I'm, as, unless you got... Oh, this isn't recording right now. Uh, maybe it should be so we can like have this. You, they can actually like. See it doesn't that. always have the best angle, and I can't yeah. check it too often because I'm doing other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not recording. <laughs> I can't tell you. But <clears throat> with it dead, will you guys just make your way out? Um. There's nothing like in the cavern, is there? Just nah, so it seems to be its nest. Well, let me check. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> it. I can also see. I mean, you could take a few teeth from it. I'd let you okay. make plus one daggers out of the Or plus one long source with how big this thing is. I but, do that. Can I get some teeth? Yeah, go for it. Plus one long source. Do I have to. Like, nah, nah. I'll just say you got three teeth. Good job. You can make long swords out of this. It only had three teeth. Oh. <laughs> oh. So that's how it I had too many out. cavities. Ooh, wait. You know what? I do not. Never mind. Yeah. All right. So you guys can make your way out of the cavern. You know, a little difficult, but you can spider play. You got rope. Yeah. Whatever. Oh, you guys are gonna get up. <laughs> I did like how the guys did. Yeah, was some, that was smart. And. You guys are able to continue forward without any problem. One second. Of course not. Have you met our group? How could we have any problems? <laughs> Especially when it comes to children and coke. Let's say go up. Okay, fine. Let me pull up your guys' health right now. I can do that now. How about Just to prove if you had problems. Whatever. How about I didn't have problems. How much health did you have? I still have 101. Oh, you have 1,500 more. <laughs> <laughs> I, I technically right, so still over two-thirds health. As you continue walking through the wasteland, uh, you begin seeing in the far distance a mountain range with snow-covered peaks that go all the way oh. up to the clouds. It's a desert on a mountain. You see that there is a town at the base. He has a stone wall that's built into the mountain, and you actually see at the very back of it, there seems to be what is a fortress, but if you roll me history, you may know something about it. 16. 16? Well, funny enough, do you play with me? 6. Okay. Funny enough, Drake. <laughs> happens to remember something about it. That is not actually a fortress. It is a library. It's a space station. That is built into the side of the uh, hill. Oh, it's a library. And you see, where the gates to the wall, if they seem to be open. It seems to be unguarded at the moment. And you see, you hear happy music and voices coming from inside. Hmm. Well, we... So, do you guys continue forward? Walking into the town, you feel the atmosphere is very happy. There are people going around. There seems to be they're planning some sort of festival for the night. Uh, looking around, you see this town has a blacksmith, 
a tailor or an inn, and like I said before, the most prominent building is the library that is built into the wall. So, what would you guys like to do? Is, is this where I make my gun? I suppose you could. But I don't know if I should have to do that. <laughs> other people. I'll go to the library. You going to the library? I'll just go with the library to start. Sure. You make my gun later. What do you like to do? I have nothing specific I'm doing here. So. You want to just go to the inn, get plastered? I want to go to sleep. <laughs> In the game, right? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I know this is going to be a long story. It won't be that long. So don't worry. Like two more hours. One more. <laughs> I'm walking home. Don't worry. Okay, so you go up to the giant stone building that's built into the side of the wall. You see the large doors, you're able to open them. And you're met with a man. Oh, he seems to be a little plump. He has red skin, horns, messy hair, pretty little glasses. And all that. <clears throat> you see, he knows you. He's like, oh, yes, we have visitors. <laughs> uh, let's see. What knowledge do you have of the library? Because it can be dangerous for those who are uninformed. Um, I don't really have any knowledge of the, the library. Well, <clears throat> the library was actually built by the giants. You see, it was built by cloud giants. They don't exactly have a good sense of scale. It's uh, built throughout the entire mountain. You could actually get through the other side, but that would be a maze. And almost impossible to navigate unless you were lucky. Now, only five years ago were we granted access to the mountain. The giants allowed small people access to that. <clears throat> uh, but we haven't cl exactly cleared all the traps and the monster dens in the deep library, so feel free to go somewhat in. Just don't go wandering off, okay? Okay. Thank you. Alright, so. Uh, if you want to take a look around at the, uh, the books, roll me a d6. I'll see what you find. I'm going to, I'm just running some stuff first. Oh, you're there, Oh, you're there. Six. Four. Okay. Sorry, I had to guess the hex on the die first. Abby, you rolling? Or you just... Yeah, I'm going to. I'm just writing stuff down. Quit taking notes, that's illegal. You said a D6? Mm -hmm. Four. Four? Four. Okay, yeah. So, <clears throat> you. This takes like the entire day, by the way, until night. I mean. So, <clears throat> you find stuff about the history of the giants. Basically, when the Right Arm Empire was founded, there was an agreement between giants and the giant tribes and. The empire that basically the mountain's theirs. They had religious significance to them, so they're like, yo, we're cool. Uh, let's see. However, main five tribes of giants, the rock, fire, frost, cloud, and storm giants, can really get along, you know, constant fighting, trying to prove they're better than each other, that kind of thing. However, this stopped when uh, a wounded traveler and your newborn baby were found by the uh, the uh, storm giants. See, uh, the woman was beyond saving, but for some reason they decided to take the kid in. Uh, the kid grew up among the giants, uh, basically, despite being you know, a midget compared to them, he was accepted into that, and he decided when he was old enough that he wanted to expand his knowledge, so he traveled to the other tribes, eventually learning from them, and brought peace between all the tribes. Eventually, even bringing peace between the giants and the empire. Oh. And you guys, you found information with a four on the uh, city of King's Watch, which is the next one. It is the town closest to the Right Arm Empire. It is the technological center of the world. Rumor has it that originally it was just an outpost, mainly for people preparing to or covering from crossing the mountain. However, uh, that's when ruins underneath the town were discovered and something was found there. It was a technological marvel uh, that was as dangerous as it was fascinating. It doesn't say what it was. It allowed artificers from across the world to reverse engineer magical advancements such as firearms, advanced armors, and even, even completely sentient beings. 
uh, with all the smart people in this one place, uh, it attracted more smart people than people want to learn showed up. Uh, so there have been tons of laboratories and uh, colleges and everything. What's up? Yeah, don't break my mind. In fact, uh, the well-known Iron Hammer actually began making some of its greatest magic items ever in that location, before the war broke out, of course. Uh, they even had uh, plans to make a building filled with teleportation circles uh, that would have allowed constant travel to and back, but uh, this idea was scrapped when the war broke out. Now, the Empire saw the dangers in that, and they only have one closely guarded teleportation circle that only a select few have decisions for. Alright, so <clears throat> there's actually someone else in the library with you. Kira. <laughs> hey guys! You see that there's a woman with gray skin, white hair, spiked set leather armor. Looking through bookshelves with piles of books around her, you see a few pictures of the Sphinx that you guys had encountered. Let's see. And you see as you guys walk in, she looks at you with a very surprised expression, stands up, and runs to Drake. Drake, Drake. Says, Drake, you're okay? Where, where have you been? Do you know him? Yes, of course I know him. From a, how long ago? What? What are you talking about? Amnesia. So, okay, I may be, okay, I think I know putting some things together. I was, okay, he was a friend. I was more of a servant. I was sworn to uh, protect him and all that. But, he went missing last month. It was weird. He made me swear not to tell anyone any details about him, including himself. What's your name? My name is Lula. No, we didn't hear the name. What? <laughs> Wait, why is the name? That wasn't the name that we heard from the Sphinx. Like, I know that. <laughs> this is not your fault. <laughs> she died. Uh, and this, the fact what those books about the Sphinx are related to them? Yes, I was actually planning on trying to find the Sphinx to find him. I was making sure that I didn't leave any stone unturned. To be honest, that's how we figured out what happened in his past. He drank a potion for one reason or another to forget everything. Some cultist attacked him and he was or he fell into a river on a cliff I believe it was. I just fixed that part of the I don't know. He ended up getting picked up by a town without his memory. And that's where we found him. Uh, well, okay, but would you allow me to join you? Yes. Okay, well thank you. I'm Relieved to see that you're okay. And <clears throat> we will close it there, the game. Uh, I will say that we don't have to roleplay, but you guys are able to order uh, winter clothes for the climb up the mountain or through the mountain. It's up to you guys. Just give also, me a heads up. What were the four ways you said we died, or the Sphinx said we died already? Uh, the Murdered by a Kraken. There's uh, himself. Blew yourself up the uh, against the uh, guard of the um, Rydrum's wall. The third was... Is that the Rydrum's wall? Yes, the Rydrum Cat. We wouldn't have got... We wouldn't have we all blown up the wall. The other one was, I think, something underneath the city. Yeah, the third was underneath the, the uh, Ryan's Cathedral. There was an undead abomination that tore you apart and made you part of it. And the last, Ryan himself. Mm -hmm. So, you know, fun stories. Boy, I can't wait to tell Kira about the fun times we had. <laughs> By the way, all the grenade did was attract the worm. Uh. 
it dealt one thunder damage to every creature within a thousand feet. So the worm. So it attracted. So he was just threatening to call the worm. He was like, if if I go, everyone goes. No. <laughs> <laughs> but we didn't know about the worm, so okay. we were just like, oh, oh okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm hearing a lot of talking here. You know, I'm not hearing falling. <laughs> 